Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I just want to give a little information on rebuilding this this oil cylinder here. Basically, I went with the uh, SAE 30 non-detergent. Find that at Walmart. Stuff is like syrup, guys. Okay, so you definitely want to have uh, a container underneath because it's a freaking mess. Okay, what you're going to do is you got number three Allen key. You'll use that for bleeding it later. So basically, you go ahead. I'm going to do this really quick, guys. Okay. You you got your machine. Your cylinder ain't working right because maybe it leaked oil or whatever. So you take your cylinder off. Allen key under here. Allen key here. Pull the cylinder off. Then remove this nut. Loosen it up. This thing goes in slides right in okay then twist this thing off it's three turns twist this this side off it's five turns see that right there it's five turns pull those off obviously you'll be on a bench this thing will be upright fill this side fill this side completely with oil where it's overflowing remember that fill it till it overflows you're going to use this Okay, till the oil completely is flowing out. Then you want to use some nylon tape, put it on the threads way before you do all that so you're ready and you're quick. Put that back on, put some on there, put that back on, slide this two back down, lock this in place. Now there's going to be a lot of oil in there. There isn't any specification of how much oil is supposed to be in this cylinder, so how to figure that out, what I did, I opened the cylinder completely open when I filled this thing, okay? So now I got oil in here, a little bit in the top, oil at the bottom, all the way up to the cylinder because it's just a cylinder with an O-ring. That's all this thing is. It does a quick flow. As this thing is compressing, the oil is pushing out the bottom, going into the top as this cylinder is collapsing. The same way as you lift it up. As you lift it up, it's pushing the oil back this way into the bat into the bottom. All this is is a quick shut off, so you want to stop it from dropping. That's all that is. This one here is regulating how much oil is going to squeeze through this valve, and you close it, open it, and then that will be regulating how much oil is going to come through, so how fast the cylinder is going to drop. That's it. Very simple design, guys. Okay, so now what I did is to, to get this, the excess oil out here that you're going to need to get out oil and air. So what I did was this cylinder was totally full, right? So I would drop it, open everything up. So I'd pull it. I got it to about like, I don't know, what was that, 45 probably about 50, 60 degrees up, maybe 70. And it wouldn't go anymore because it's completely full, right? So what I did, guys, is that if you have the same design as me and you have a valve here, close this valve. That basically closes this side, okay? We don't want to, we don't, there's a spring in here too. So as this machine drops down, it absorbs it so it doesn't just slam, okay? There's a spring in here. You'll realize that when you go to push on the cylinder, it's kind of springy. So the spring comes up to the valve. So now, as you drop, this thing is closed, okay? You open this. And when you open it, means you don't take the screw completely off. If you do, the oil is going to rush out and everything. Don't forget, this valve's got to be all the way open because we want to take the excess oil that's out of this cylinder, okay? Excess oil out of this cylinder to basically and air to we want this arm to completely drop when it completely drops then that means you got the right, uh, right amount of oil in this cylinder you understand so what we're going to do we're going to do a couple, couple sessions here we're going to open this thing up i've already done it so i know this works perfect you basically open this up you close this and then as the oil stops coming out, you tighten it, okay? 
Then you go back to opening this valve. Then you pull down on the arm as far as you can until it just won't come down anymore, okay? And then it stops. Then you close this again. Then you open this again until how much oil comes out, okay? Then close it back up. Then you open this again. And then you do the same thing. You pull down super hard, right? Until it stops. Then you close it again. Then you open this again and until all the oil comes out, okay? Then you open this again. Then you pull on the machine. Pull it down. You'll only get so far. Probably right about there. Close it. Open it again. Get the excess oil out. Then you, op then you open this up again. And you're pushing down on the thing, right? As far as you can. Open it again. I think I did like five or six times. Until this machine, you crack it. Like say I got to like right there, which isn't all the way down yet, and I let the oil out. And then what I did is, and then I tighten it back up, then I open it up, and it would stop like right there. I, I let it out, the rest of the oil. And this, I'm, I'm talking little, this is a little amount of oil, guys. It's not like a lot. I'm talking like drops, you know what I mean? So I mean... That's, well, a little bit more than drops, okay? I think I might have taken out, I don't know, maybe, probably, maybe this whole cup. That's about it. That's the only thing i probably taken out, okay? Is this thing was full? And this thing, I mean, it's not that big. Let's see, does it have any information? I don't know what it does on what size this thing is. Yeah, TN4. Whatever the hell that means. See that? TN4. That's the size. Harbor Freight Special, guys. Okay. So now... See? Now it goes all the way to the bottom. That's all I care about. Okay. So then you close this thing up. Tighten it. This thing's still wide open. This thing's open. So now... You're done. You... You got the right amount of oil in the cylinder. There's no air in the cylinder because you fill this thing up on the bench on both sides. So there's completely no air in the system. All oil only. You teeter-totter it back and forth until you completely get all the air bubbles out. And then you fill it up with this thick freaking oil, which is like syrup, guys. Don't drink it. Okay. So now thing works like a champ man and I'll tell you before it would just fall on its face as soon as I would open this thing up let's take the sound key off because mine's all done close it all the way okay it's closed all the way so I can open this it won't drop see this is just a valve to do a quick drop test that's why you want to keep this is the important part because it's a pin with a very small hole and this pin, as you open it, it re regulates how much oil is going to come back through the cylinder, you know, going back and forth as it's dropping. It, that's all it does is go back and forth. So now, look, I think I do like a full turn for it to start moving. Because I'm telling you, this oil is super thick and fresh. As you go another turn, look at it, drops. And you can do it really slow. See, I'm turning it in as I'm turning it in, it's slowing it down. That will keep it from bouncing, guys. This cylinder is stiff as a brick now, okay? It's, it's really, really dialed in now. The right amount of oil. You know, they try to sell you a whole new cylinder for a couple hundred bucks. As long as the O-ring inside is okay and your seal on the outside is okay, so you're not leaking anywhere. You guys are in good shape. Um, I didn't try to take it apart, but I do know, see I got this cover here, and it was a bitch to get off. Cause see, you have to, pr well I didn't pry it to damage it, but it's got a ring in here. And this ring fits on this outside. See right there? So the cap goes on, I'm gonna put the cap back on. It's a snap ring. When you pull a snap ring off, this whole thing should come out. I didn't go that far. I didn't need to, 
All I knew is that it was out of oil because it wasn't working properly. So, but that's it, guys. Um, pretty easy deal. I um, hope that works for you. If you have any more questions, just send me information on my YouTube channel. And uh, you'll be good to go. So, uh, that's it. Check it out. Open it up all the way. Look how fast that sucker drops. Close it. Boom. Look how fast that response is. Open it. Boom. Boom. Stops. Sweet. Have a good day, guys.